Hi, conference report. So you fucked the crow. Um, yeah, I saw you talking about your own deconstruction. But so it's deconstruction time. These things mean what they mean to various people. I find it interesting, and I think that your uh, artwork in that regard is an opportunity, really, to talk about somebody that is provocative, uh, that has provided a dramatic emotion on purpose. You know, that's the beauty of, of art. People provide these things with their life all the time, and there's various complications about, well, is this something we can just engage or not? Somebody does an artwork, it's a very funny thing. It could be quite similar. People can do it and just be like, well, what, man, I was honest, and it was a powerful emotion. I don't have to know exactly why. That's right, you don't. There's a value to just expressing, expressing your feelings. And artistically, you could be uh, enacting something you've noticed in culture. But of course it is, uh, it's uh, troubling, it's meant to be troubling. Now, uh, on the beginning, I, I didn't know if you meant the metaphor to be applied to something going on right now, but the metaphor to me uh, was clear, uh, deconstruction-wise again, not that I'm saying it's what you put in there. But to me, it was like the metaphor for beating a dead horse. And it bore a resemblance to that metaphor that that metaphor does not bear to most people, which is why beat a live horse? So it's like, why fuck a dead crow? Stop fucking a dead crow. Jesus, don't you see that crow is dead? With the implication being, you know, fucking a live crow, we, that's hard to argue against. And yeah, that, that's nuts too. Like, beating a live horse is hopefully now something that is somewhat nuts. I know it still happens, sadly. But as a metaphor, shouldn't have the same meaning, but, but it does. It's like, stop beating the dead horse, it's dead. You can beat it when it's alive. But the other thing is whether you're to be called to account for such art. Um, shall we analyze and try to figure out, are you uh, enacting something that ultimately, that might be dark or even disgusting, that is a metaphor for something that is dark and disgusting, that can bring us knowledge about what we're going through. Well, you may be, but even so, um, your other artwork then bears. Now, I think every single video that anybody makes is a work of art, whether they know it or not. Now, granted, a lot of it is like walking around the crafts fair, you're seeing people's crafts, but, you know, that's folk art, and, and there's masterpieces among them, and they have sort of a, a, a cultural reality, no matter what. Uh, but they're all art, so we can add them all together. You do something obviously meant as, as art, and you do videos not so obviously meant as art, but which I take as art, and they can be added together. Now, it's so it's similar. Doing something of a raw emotional impact, you know it, it had an emotional impact, not necessarily what. And that's what drives artists often, especially really great artists, is sort of trust in those feelings. And they reveal themselves, and that is good in itself, but they do reveal themselves, you know. It's similar to saying that the first thing a man sees when he sees a woman is, is somebody that he has to evaluate for sexual, uh, for sexual reasons and on sexual grounds. Well, it's great. I mean, I'm sure in your liberal sensibilities, probably, there, if that felt like, well, I'm just being honest. But the, the irony of being honest, ultimately, is that when you feel that way, it, it feels like you're being honest for the universe. You ultimately are honest for yourself. And you can only be honest for yourself. You can't admit for all men that that's how they all think. And we know that there's gay men, and we know that there's asexual men, and there's probably every in between, so... When you admit something like that, whatever you think the statistical group you might be in, maybe you're admitting something you think most people uh, should admit. But it doesn't matter. You can't confess for other people, right? So these kinds of factors and, and the fact that you think that way, oops, the fact that you think that way, becomes a part of the art and you will be scrutinized, no doubt, with that in mind. It's interesting to me because it was so disrespectful of the corpse of the the uh, of the bird, and yet you're a vegetarian on ethical grounds, and I'm not. So I don't have a lot of place to say, but I don't have not, and I don't have to not say as well. 
So really, I wouldn't necessarily comment on it. You're obviously an artistic fellow. I don't have a criticism. I think that it's an interesting uh, microcosm of how we make provocative statements, whether we know they're provocative. And we have to live with what they mean uh, about us, uh, what they mean about people's ideas, all the possible deconstructions.